Hey guys, welcome back to another video of um, Panda Magic. It's a uh, magic where you know any panda can do. Um, if you're not a panda, then I'm sorry. But without further ado, um, I'm gonna talk about a couple of things um, just to give you a little biography about myself and who I am and what I do. I am not a professional magician. I'm just a magician. Uh, well, magic is a profession in itself. Might as well, right? Call me a professional. But um, I do magic and I uh, I do it for a, a hobby. Hopefully, one day, you know, I'll, I won't be a, a famous professional, but I'll I would like to do it professionally. Um, you know, go here and there and parties. Well, that's I do that at times. Uh, you know when. I get lucky, I get called for a party, you know, kids, adults, um, but like I said, it's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna say a little bit about myself, and then we're gonna go on to, uh, a quick deck review of this, uh, expert at the card table deck, of course, you can see, look at that, um, not yet, I'm just gonna, you know, talk a little bit, um, but yeah, what's my name, uh, my Jay-Z is my, uh, magician name but uh my real name is george with a j j o r g e well i am mexican-american i was born here don't worry don't go no don't call ice police on me please um i live in uh, bronx new york i grew up in bronx but i was born in queens yeah queens is like my hood technically not bronx but you know you <laughs> shape yourself on where you live um I am 18 years old. I currently do go to college in Manhattan. That's funny. I was born in Bron I was born in Queens, live in the Bronx, and go to school in Manhattan. Hmm. I'm all over the place. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm 18 years old. Uh, a couple of hobbies I have is obviously uh, magic. Magic is like biggest hobby. Uh, profession. You know, everywhere I go, everybody I meet. I'm like, oh, uh, I'm a magician, I like to perform magic. Uh, another hobby I have actually is, uh, I used to do martial arts, I used to do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and kickboxing, but uh, you know, I left that a while back because uh, more money, you know, money issues and stuff like that. But um, yeah, you know, I hope uh, this really comes down to it. and. Also, I want to say that, uh, you know, I keep saying I'm going to put videos here and there, but, um, you know, I have timing issues, timing, you know, timing is everything, and uh, I barely have time right now, so I'm supposed to be doing an uh, essay, but uh, I'll do it at night, you know, um, tomorrow is going to be Sunday, so I'm going to um, chill out with some friends, uh, by the time this video is up, I already probably did it already, so. But anyways, um, let's get on to the deck review. This is uh, the expert at the card table deck. As you can see, um, I'm not really sure who made this deck. I was researching it, looking, you know, all over the place. I'm on a penguin, they didn't have the pub, uh, the person who put it out. Um, this discontinued it. Um, I looked everywhere. There's just a bunch of names. I don't really know about but um i'll try to do my best uh the most important part is uh really the way it looks that's what most of the magicians really like the way it looks uh, i had this deck for i believe a month and i just opened it two weeks ago as you can see it kind of has a little you know little little uh scratches or whatever but um that's because i'm not, i don't have card clips I don't believe in them they're not my religion um, <laughs> um, but um yeah the style is supposed to be looking it's supposed to look like a book i really like that you know it can, at first when i bought i'm like yeah it has it's, it's a leather box it's not a leather box it really really did fool me you sir oh deck you deck have fooled us you know 
Uh, this is the expert at the playing card table right there with a little you know, silver foiling top. It says playing cards. The foil. The side, SWE, SW Ernie's. There you go. The expert at the card table. Two diamonds. The back kind of looks leathery bottom. Get the top and this is actually a uh, it looks like a book because you know you can open it I actually have a little uh, Bible that I got from Tana's magic it's really cool really 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 cool um yeah I got something right here man damn really bothering me um but anyways uh let's see what the cards look like uh so yeah. it's sideways it opens sideways And actually, uh, I just played with these before I, I opened them. Like, I opened them and kept them in the bag for some reason. Um, but these are what the cards look like. You can see. They look like regular bees. I thought they were going to be a little bit uh, more, uh, how do you call them? Uh, more colorful, you know. I'm not saying it's a bad deck, I'm just saying, you know, I thought it was going to be more colorful. But uh, yeah, we're gonna put the box aside for now. And it fell. That's nice. Um, the honestly, they, they feel like regular bees. And I'm not, I'm not I'm not saying I dislike them, but um, regular faces. You can see regular faces. Three, six. Uh, the Joker. Hold on, let me check the Joker's. Uh, here we go. So these are just like the Daniel Madison Jokers, as you can see. Well, kind of a little bit. Right there. You can see them. There's a copyright, has the hands. Daniel Madison has these in his Ernest deck, too. Let's see. This copyright by S.W. Ernest, 1902. Um, I don't know. He made him. Or what? <laughs> I mean, he's, he's resting in peace right now. Same thing here. His hands, a Joker, the back. Ooh. Uh, it's pretty simple deck. I really did not expect this deck to be that simple let's do a, a spread shall we look at that look at that it's so nice does not it oh my god it's so nice oh my god it's so nice um the thing i like really like about these is like they're like kind of like a little ghosty in the, in the edges if you understand the borders they kind of like fade in i don't know if you can see that they kind of like white and they're fading into black and white fading 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 it looks so nice to me um uh, yeah like i said the faces look pretty standard a little bit lighter than usual they feel like regular bees honestly if you ever played with bees that's what they look like fans again fan bam that was a quick easy um review not much there is to say about this deck besides not knowing who actually made it so thank you guys for watching this video i really do appreciate it um you know since i come from a place where you know we're expected not to appreciate things i really am really appreciative and uh i'm gonna make a video that has um you know how do i say uh parts that i just recorded because I don't even know. Is there something wrong with me? It's the clowns. Um, so I'll be doing a, a tutorial next time. Um, so uh, stick around, like, subscribe, comment, share it, you know, the usual stuff. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks.